Oh no, lads, would you look at that? It's that dastardly Putin, again, threatening Klaus Schwab, which is weird because I was told that Hitler Pooty Poot's days were numbered last year because he had cancer or myocarditis or steroid rage. What was all the stupid shit you lefties were talking about last year when you said definitely his days are numbered? That Putin character's definitely die. He's a madman. He's crazy. He cries. He cries. He cries. Hey. But here he is, again, in 2023, October 5th of 2023, and this is Liz Churchill. Putin warns globalist terrorist Klaus Schwab that his quote days are numbered. Oh. Hold on a second. Yep. Yep. According to my watch, it's, uh, I don't give a fuck o'clock. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the comment section is full of, hey, look at these republicards. Look at this siding with Hitler, Poon. I'm not siding with anybody. I don't give a fuck about either of these two assholes over here. Don't give a, I don't give a fuck about Russia. Don't give a fuck about Ukraine. Don't give a fuck about Klaus Schwab. But you asshole lefties are going to push me to, to pick a side. I'm picking the side that uh, I'm, I'm rooting for Putin then. That's the side I'm going to pick. Because Putin ain't telling me that I'm going to eat bugs and like it. Right? Putin isn't running around buying U.S. neighborhoods and fucking up the housing market like Klaus Schwab. And Putin doesn't keep threatening me. So yeah, if you're going to force me to pick a side in this situation over here, Putin, 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 Putin everyday Putin, everyday Putin. Every day, Putin. Doesn't mean I like the dude. It means I hate Klaus Schwab more. I hate Klaus Schwab. Fuck you, Klaus Schwab. Fuck you, Klaus Schwab. You know, uh, the the WEF leader over here, Klaus Schwab, he's got a second in command. And the guy, he does TED Talks. He goes on stage. He know he's being fucking recorded. And he goes, stupid humans. You got the no spark of divinity. You're stupid fucking animals. And we hacks all your brains is with hacks. I'm sorry, what now? I, I don't have the spark of divinity? Oh. Uh, fuck you, Satan. Not today, Satan. Klaus Schwab. So yeah, I, I would lose zero sleep if... Putin over here pink misted Klaus Schwab. Why, why would I lose any fucking sleep? I don't give a fuck about Klaus Schwab. Fuck you, Klaus Schwab. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking the the comment section of these people, they're they're all sitting there and they're all geopolitical geniuses, of course. All of these dumb fuckers who don't know what bathroom to use, of course. These 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 individuals who are mentally unstable. They need cry closets for midterms. But they know that Hitler Putin is the worst person on the planet. And they're shocked, shocked, I tell you, that Putin would dare threaten Klaus Schwab. Okay, Klaus Schwab and the WEF are the frontmen, right? You know, you got uh, all these cocksuckers in Canada and Germany and France, this country, all of these fucking pricks. All of the WEF alumni, and they're demanding that we send more and more and more money, munitions, equipment, satellites, long-range motherfucking missiles to Ukraine to blow up Russia. I mean, to, to fight Russia. So uh, this is a WEF war over here. The WEF is the point man for attacking Russia and laundering the attack through us. Through NATO, through America, and then through Ukraine. So you can't be shocked that the man, Klaus Schwab, who's funneling all of this energy to attack Russia in, in Ukraine, is going to say, or, or, or Putin is going to say that that dude is a military target. You, you're shocked by this? You're shocked? Of course I should be shocked that you're shocked because you lefties are fucking stupid. You're stupid fucking idiots. You've never built a business. You never run anything. All you've done is sit in these college fucking classrooms and you think you're fucking genius. As meanwhile, you've done nothing in your life and going to college is easy as shit. There is no barrier to entry into fucking college and you motherfuckers don't even pay for it. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's daycare for grown-ass, dumbass, arrested development adults who think they're fucking geniuses. So, no, we, we shouldn't be remotely involved in any of this. We shouldn't be involved in any of this. 
the beef between Russia and Ukraine goes back hundreds of years. Right? These fucking people over there, the Soviets weren't great to the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians were part of... I, the whole thing's a big fucking mess. The Ukraine has been bombing half of Ukraine since 2014. The, the whole place is a stupid fucking mess, which is why this is all popping off over there. And we shouldn't have anything to do with it. And you guys wouldn't let us have that position. So I can't have the I can't have the position of there should be peace. I shouldn't have the position. I, I you lefties are saying we are not allowed to have the position that we need to work towards peace or we should be the fuck removed from this. So if I can't demand peace and I can't extricate myself from the situation, and I got to choose between these two fuckers, put every day. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. But there you go, boys. Uh, the World Economic Forum's Klaus Schwab, according to Putin, is a globalist terrorist. And he's holding humanity for ransom. And his days are numbered. Holy fuck. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the videos. Before you will be kept up to date on whatever the fuck is happening on the geopolitical spectrum over here. Hit that subscribe button and make way. Because the salt must flow.